Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on what time it is where you are. My name is Bill Gesowich, and I'm coming to you from the beautiful city of Savannah, Georgia. Today I'd like to show you how to install Visual Studio 2019 and .NET Core SDK 3.1, as those are the two things that we'll need for the majority of the videos that I'll be sharing with you. First thing we want to do is go to the browser of choice. And what we will do is the first thing we're going to do is install Visual Studio 2019 or 2019. So let's Google Visual Studio 2019. And we'll go to Visual Studio IDE or visualstudio.microsoft.com slash VS. Once you're there, you see the download button. Click on it. Community Edition is fine, so there's no reason to upgrade to any other version for the videos that I'll be showing you. So we'll go ahead and click on the Community Edition. That'll start the download. When the download finishes, we'll open it. Click on Yes. And the installer will install. Once the installer is done installing, you'll actually get the workload screen for Visual Studio. The key things that we want to install here are ASP.NET and Web Development. We'll scroll down. We won't use the desktop development or any of that right now. We may do some mobile application development, so let's choose mobile development. Keep scrolling down. You'll do data storage and processing because some of the videos we do will be data storage. And then we want to do .NET Core cross-platform development. So click that and we will install all of that. And I will speed up the video and I will see you once Visual Studio Community is fully installed. If you're prompted to restart, click on Restart and come back to the video when you're done. Now that Visual Studio is installed, let's go ahead and run it. Start Visual Studio 2019. There we go. And when it starts, you will need to sign in. Okay, so once Visual Studio 2019 is started, let's just go create a new project. We will create a ASP.NET Core web application for C Sharp. We'll just leave the default web application for now. I just want to check one thing. And if everything got installed properly, you'll see the ASP.NET Core 3.1 as an option here. That's good, but let's take it one step further and download the SDK just to make sure everything's there. So I'll get out of Visual Studio. And now we'll search for Net Core SDK. And here we go. The first link here is download.net. We want .NET Core 3.1 and we want to be able to build apps. So we download .NET Core SDK. Our download should start automatically as it has here. You may need to select the specific version for your operating system depending on what operating system you're using. But here the SDK install started by itself. I will tell it to open when done. Okay, you get the intro screen. Click on install. Click on yes. And if it's already installed, it goes very quickly. Uh, if not, you'll see. And now you verify that you have .NET Core 3.1 installed as well. We'll close that out. Let's go into Visual Studio one more time just to make sure that we're, everything's good. Uh, 
I like to pin that to my taskbar. And so we'll create a new project. We'll create the ASP.NET Core web application. Click Next. We'll leave the default create. And you do see the ASP.NET Core 3.1 ready to go.